Message to Pereg Agrawal, CEO of Twitter. Dear Mr. Agrawal, I wrote this when it was literally two in the morning during my recent visit to beautiful Samos, Greece, where I was on business attending to my efforts on the educational front. I woke up suddenly from my slumbers with you and your company on my mind in my jet-lagged state, unable to drowse further, and so I sat there writing instead of sleeping, which the more cautious and sensible part of me wished devoutly I was able to do instead. A few weeks ago, the wise folks at Twitter deemed it necessary to suspend my access to that platform, despite the fact that I had several million followers, despite the fact that I had used the platform in good faith, despite the fact that I had put in the years of time and effort necessary to gain such an extensive following, despite the fact, as well, that I was a genuine force on Twitter trending with a rather appalling and frightening degree of regularity. In many ways, I'm your monster, sir. The number one biggest piece of hate I get is money doesn't buy happiness or uh, he all he has is money, we all die in the same grave, all that bullshit. And I'm telling you something very, very, I'm telling you all you people out there who are working jobs and working hard, I respect you, I wanna make something clear, I respect work. Cleaning, cleaning the garbage, picking up the garbage, working in McDonald's, it's hard work and it needs to be done. I respect that absolutely. I'm not saying I don't respect workers. I'm saying that you need to find a way out of the matrix. And I'll make something clear. The rich people have done a very, very good job of psyoping you. And they've psyoped you with bullshit. Like money doesn't buy happiness. Have you ever seen a rich person give their money away? Ever. Fuck no. More money, more problems. Then why do they all want so much money? It's a lie. And it's a lie to keep the poor people sitting there going, well, my life's shit, but he's super rich, but I bet his life ain't all that. Yes, it fucking is. It actually is. Being rich is fantastic. It's amazing. It gives you freedom because being rich gives you opportunity. If you have opportunity, you have freedom. Do you want to die as a slave? I can go anywhere I want. I can do anything I want. I can eat anything I want. I can drive anything I want. I can sleep anywhere I want. I can fuck anything I want. Do you understand? I have freedom. If you're broke, you don't have freedom. So to sit there and say, I'm happy to be... I'm happy to not be free means you're happy to be a slave. So do not buy into the narrative that the matrix propagates. And the narrative the matrix propagates is that money is not happiness and that if you're rich, you'll still be sad and depression affects the famous people. All bollocks. If you start poor and become rich, life is as good as it could ever possibly be. And I am here as living testament to how fantastic life can be. I'm telling you, it's amazing. Wow. Jeffrey is a winner. Everybody loves Jeffrey. And look, he's f***ing that girl and he's f***ing that other girl and he's f***ing that girl and he's f***ing that girl. Oh, he was just daydreaming. Jeffrey is a loser. A grade A loser. He does nothing but indulge in pleasure. He watches self-improvement videos just like this one, but he doesn't take action. That better not sound like you. If your heart's like beating fast then, bro, go f***ing do some push-ups, mate. <laughs> he's a loser, but he complains that he doesn't get those same rewards as the winners. Do not be like Jeffrey. And when you feel like you're in a lower place, like you're a loser, life is just sad. Something inside of me and probably you strives to push us closer to the top so that we can have like the best resources, the best rewards of life. But you're probably still a loser. And there's probably a couple of different kinds of guys who are watching this video. Some are completely revolting the idea and they've probably not even clicked. They're like, oh yeah, like this video's not for me. They're the ones who need it the most. The others on the extreme bottom side are like, oh yeah, he's, he's, he's right and then they get proper sad. This video would be for those guys, but generally guys who are so defeated don't make any progress anyway. Technically, you're not a loser because you're not at the total bottom, but the guys in the middle, the slightly average guys, the guys who have been going to the gym somewhat consistently for the past few months, who've been trying some of the good habits, but who still don't have their dream job or the dream business or the dream physique. You're probably a loser because you've only been doing this stuff for a couple of months or maybe a year. It is so important to be able to admit this, to say openly that you are a loser and that you have plenty of weaknesses that need to be strengthened because so many guys so quickly get into this egotistical view of themselves where they've started making progress and now they feel like they're no longer a loser they're the winner and now they deserve all the girls and everything and then they're always hit with this cognitive dissonance when they don't get the rewards of the life that they think they should be getting and then they quit because self-improvement doesn't work oh building the body doesn't work you 
are not that great right now. Everyone else will lie to you to tell you to just be yourself. No, 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 actually, you're looking really big, dude. And like, oh, you're, you're doing really, really good. They'll lie to you. But when you click on a Hamza video, you know you're going to be hit with some honest, unfiltered truth. I don't need to sugarcoat. You can hate me if you want. You can call me an asshole. I will tell you the truth. The majority of young men are total losers, including those who have just gotten onto self-improvements. Do not get it twisted. You are on the right path, which is fantastic. But you've been doing 18 years of bad habits. The beauty of self-improvement is that time on self-improvement does heavily outweigh time of being a normie. So if it was all equal, 18 years of being a normie, of being a f***ing degenerate, it would take 18 years of self-improvement to counter it, but it doesn't. 18 years of being a normie gets countered by usually one to two years of self-improvement, and you will feel the exact moment in which you're no longer a loser. It won't be up for debate. It will be so f***ing clear that you are no longer a loser and you've just slipped into the top 10 to 20% of men. It will literally be like night and day. There will be literally one day where you somewhat feel like a loser you're not getting many rewards and then the next day you literally are like what the f like success compounds like this success is not linear you don't just get one percent bet that's fucking bullshit that's like the bullshit of the just fucking little normies online one percent better every that's not how it works you see no progress for a while and then boom I can't wait for you to experience that. Scroll down right now and send this video to a Jeffrey friend who needs it, especially if he's a loser. Especially if he's got that big ass f***ing ego that needs to be in check.